Not exactly sure what that shrimp is doing. So this looks like these are the uh, glow bettas. Like a three gallon betta glow fish thing as well. Do you think that I should get a glow betta? Only like for research, like. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. So as you may have noticed, I didn't upload yesterday. My upload schedule is every other day, but I've just been working a lot on like the actual like mechanics of the fish room and just like everything that I need and also like, you know, work and everything. So it's been a little hectic the last few days, but how are you guys? How are you doing? Today is Friday. No, today is Thursday when I'm recording this. Tomorrow is Friday when I upload this, but how is your Friday going? Let me know down below. I hope you have a good weekend. Before we get into this little video real quick, I need to do some measurements around the fish room because because uh, we have a lot of stuff going on in the next few videos, like big time things. So if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm not, I'm not like joking around. Like I'm not, I'm being serious, okay? A lot of people are like, oh, hit that subscribe button. Like I'm doing the same thing I've been doing, but I have a lot of big things planned and I don't think you guys are ready for it. Honestly, I don't think you're ready for it. I said it there. I don't think you're ready for it. So yeah, let's do some quick measurements around the room and uh, then we can get into the rest of the video. So the first thing I gotta do is measure this wall that the 29 gallon is on. Just about seven feet. Looks good, seven feet, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna regret it, and I'm gonna do it. Ah! All right, now that I've done that, I need to measure the size of a, what? Not exactly sure what that shrimp is doing, but I've never seen a shrimp like curl its tail like that. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Is it molting? Oh my God, it might be molting. Well, it might be doing that, but I need to know how big this five gallon is because just a tiny spoiler, I am gonna be building a really awesome betta shelf myself and it's gonna be really cool. Like this room is gonna look completely different when I'm done with it, but enough talking about that. Let me just go ahead and measure it. Okay, let's just get this little end down here. Sorry, the camera isn't on it. Okay, looks like it is 16 inches. 16 and we'll just say 16 and a half. I'm still trying to figure out what the shrimp is doing because I think it's molting, but like, it looks like that's what it's doing, but it's hard to tell. I'll update you guys in a minute if that's what it did, but um. So if you guys didn't hear last year in 2019, there's a lot of rumors about the Glow Beta coming out in 2020. Everyone started like panicking and there were like petitions going around to stop the sales and a bunch of stuff. I think there was even a few Instagram pages that were created in order to stop these sales and to stop them from like being produced, I guess. Well, anyway, it's 2020 and the Glow Betas are out. So like I said, there was kind of a lot of controversy around it. There still is. And one of my subscribers actually tagged me in the post that Globefish posted about the bettas. So let me go ahead and just play that like video up right here on what I was tagged in because I didn't know that they were actually going to be coming out. I also didn't know they were going to happen in February, kind of a random month if you think about it. I thought it'd be like the summer. Let me go ahead and play the clip for you. So yeah, the uh, Glow Beta Electric Green is now out. Now, today is Thursday. Yesterday, I actually went to a PetSmart to see if they had the Glow Bettas in already, and uh, here's what I found. I'm currently walking to a PetSmart right now because I'm actually in the middle of working. Just wanna stop by because there is a PetSmart out here, and I wanna see if they have the Glow Bettas, so let's go find out. We're gonna have Glowfish betta flakes and the Glowfish water conditioner. It looks like they have some new decorations as well, so. Oh, and they got like a three gallon betta glowfish thing as well. That was kind of a success. They don't have any bettas in just yet, but I'm pretty sure they get in their shipment tomorrow. So yeah, there's like the tank and like I saw the food and stuff and I was like, okay, this is actually happening. Obviously that big sign that had the big glowed glowing betta kind of gave it away too. But then today I actually went to the same PetSmart again because I was out there and this is what I found today. We are outside of a PetSmart right now. I want to go in there and just see if they actually have the bettas today. Two days ago I went in and they, or yesterday, yesterday I went in and they had the setup. They didn't have the bettas in yet but I'm out here so I figured you know what I'll just walk in and just see if they got them. So let's go in and see if they have the actual bettas in and I don't know if I already mentioned it in the video but I did get in contact with someone that works at School of Fish and they actually have three different types of the glow bettas in. So maybe we'll go check those out as well, but let's see if we can find any in here. Well, they do in fact have them. So they have females. It looks like they have 
premium males, sorry for lighting, premium males, regular males, and then females that are the cheapest. So this looks like, this is a standard male. This one is a premium male. That one's actually really cool. This one is another premium male. This one is a male. This one's a female. She's really, really bright, as you guys can see. But yeah, I mean, these are the, oh, oh, I broke that. These are the uh, glow bettas, I guess. They don't look like they're injected with dye because the dye, they're, they don't look like they're injected with dye because even though they're advertised as not having dye, it's not splotchy, which is a good sign. So I think it's also interesting how they have them in these square things. It's actually more water than the little cups, which is kind of a good thing, but. So I have this three gallon glowfish betta tank, which I think is pretty interesting. It's only $35 and three gallons isn't the worst size for a betta. I think three gallons is suitable but I definitely prefer five gallons for a better tank, but this would be pretty interesting to get actually. So I don't know, maybe I'll get this if you guys think I should do this little experiment, but I don't know, pretty cool. I think business-wise, it's a brilliant idea. Absolutely brilliant. Bettas are, bettas are probably the most sold fish in the aquarium fish keeping hobby and in chain pet stores and stuff, I'm sure bettas are like the most sold fish. So business-wise, absolutely genius to combine glowfish and bettas. But do I think that it was necessary? Absolutely not. And from someone who actually cares about the fish, and I do think it's unnecessary. Like I said, I am very interested to see how these bettas act. I mean, they seemed they seem pretty normal in the store, but you know, what's their lifespan like? Do they eat more? Do they eat less? Do they, are they more active during the day, at night? Like compared to a non-glowfish betta, what is their behavior? What are they like? So I just think it's really interesting. I would be really interested to get that tank and also the fish. So get like the whole setup. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, just as like a little experiment thing. Like I said, I, I'm really genuinely curious how these fish act, what their lifespan is, everything. So that's just like what I have to say after seeing them in person. But yeah, back to the video. So yeah, that was earlier today when I went to that PetSmart. And right off the bat, I noticed that they're in these like square containers that definitely hold more water than the cups when they sell like other bettas. Personally, I did think that was a little improvement, not gonna lie. It was nice to see them in something a little bit bigger. Yes, it wasn't, you know, a whole gallon and a half per betta, but it was a little bit of an improvement. And I did kind of like the design of the container. Now, as you saw, there are nine of them. There's like basically three of each kind. There's three like females, three males, and then three like premium males or fancy males, whatever the heck. So now the question I have for all of you is, first of all, what are your thoughts on glow bettas? Second question is, and now hear me out because I know a lot of you right off the bat are gonna be like, absolutely not, no, why would you do that? But I am really genuinely interested to find out if this if these glowing bettas, first of all, act different, have different behaviors, different personalities, if they're more active, less active, if they eat more or less, or like basically what this glowing effect actually does to the bettas themselves. If they have a longer lifespan, if they are more shy, if they're more active, like just literally everything that you can think of. So I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Do you think that I should get a glow betta in kind of do it as more of like a not science experiment because it's an animal but just like kind of like for research like you know like i said is their lifespan going to be longer are they going to eat more are they going to be more active like i am just genuinely curious and the only way i can really get my answers is by owning one so yeah let me know down below what you think of the glow bettas to start with also if you think that i should get one kind of as like a channel like all of us together kind of like a research type of thing i'll do updates on the betta and stuff a little bit more than like my other fish and animals this way here we can really see like what this glow effect does to them because they advertise as no harm no injections no dyes all of that a few of you did also want me to get the actual glow betta like cube i think it's three gallons I think I may, if I do get the better, I think I may do that because I want it to be the entire experience that most consumers will experience by buying that tank, getting that fish from that store. Three gallons is my personal personal minimum for putting a betta in. That is why I would consider getting it. But again, I wanna know all your thoughts down below on these glow bettas, what you guys think of them, and if I should get one for kind of like channel research purposes. And of course, to start off, we got little Albert because everyone loves Albert. I think I should make Albert merch. Comment below if you guys think I should make Albert merch because he's just an amazing fish and he keeps swimming. Stop giving me attitude. Tell me his face doesn't look like he's giving me attitude right now. Look at that, swimming back and forth. All right, let's feed you. Here's a little overhead view of him eating for you guys because he's just way too cute. 
Next little fishy is Lila right here as she swims very quickly to the front of the glass. I wanna show you guys her tank because I didn't put out that video yet. Then we got Mufasa right here, this big boy. There you go, buddy. Yeah, he's eating good. The shrimp in here are also doing well, as I showed you guys. One of them, I think, was molting. I don't know where the second one is. I just saw both of them, but now I can't find them. Next thing to update you guys is the guppy pond right here. Our plant is doing pretty good. Our pond, not so much. There are no longer any fish in here, but I think what I might do is get like all male white show quality guppies and put them in there because I think it'd be really cool. Now for our blue shrimp tank right here. It is doing really, really well. Um, there's a little shrimp down there. They're all over the place. One's there, one's on the wood, one's on the filter. That is it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, drop a like for me, comment down below all of your thoughts, all the questions I asked you in this video. Other than that, I will see you guys in two days with a brand new video that is going to blow your mind because this room is going to be completely redone. It's going to be epic. So I'll see you guys then. And until then, you can check out my Instagram at planet.fishness. Trying to hit a thousand followers on there. If you guys could go follow me, that'd be great. But other than that, I'll see you guys in two days with another video. Bye.